Yo, what is going on guys? Coming at you with a different type of video today. Today I'm just going to be talking about the changes coming to the Pokemon TCG with the release of Sword and Shield um, and its legality on February 21st. Uh, just kind of giving my opinion on them. So the first change that's coming up is the first turn rule change. Um, now, come happening on february 21st when sword and shield becomes legal in the pokemon tcg the player who goes first cannot play a supporter on their first turn um now i think this is a good change however i think i would have liked to have liked to have seen them also make it so that the person who goes first can attack on their first turn because i do think um completely limiting the first person is it like it's definitely too strong it's Going first is a big advantage right now. So this restriction is a good one. Not being able to play a supporter on your first turn, I think is a good restriction to the person who is going first. Um, but I think that it's almost too restricted now um, on the person who goes first. They can't use a supporter. They can't attack. They can attach energy and evolve their Pokemon first. But I feel like that's not a big enough advantage for now like choosing to go first versus going second when you do win the coin flip. I think for the majority now, we're going to see people choosing to go second um, so they can get access to a supporter on the first turn. And they don't really miss out on too much by choosing to go second over going first. So I think I would have liked, I do think this is a good change and we're moving in the right direction, but I would have liked to have seen them also change it so that the person who goes first can attack on their first turn. I could be wrong and this could be a little bit better than I think it is, um, but we'll have to wait and see. Haven't tried anything out with the new rule set. So gonna have to wait and see once it comes into effect and uh, actually give my uh, full opinion on it. All right, weakness and resistance changes. They're changing resistance from minus 20 to minus 30. As you can see here on the Zassian V card, it is the minus 30 to grass. This isn't really that big of a change. It's kind of one of those things where they're just choosing to do this. And, you know, they'll be balancing the game from here on out, from Sword and Shield out around Pokemon having 30, minus 30 resistance. Um, we could have some, unfortunately, weird interactions with older cards where it like, seems like you should definitely be able to one-shot this Pokemon, but you're like 10 damage short because all of a sudden the new cards are, you know, minus 30 instead of minus 20, like uh, cards have been for a while now. Um, so we'll have to see. Um, I don't think it's actually that big of a like change at all. It's something they're just choosing to do. Is like, Now we're going to work with minus 30 resistance instead. To me, this seems fine. And hopefully they just, you know, balance the game based around Pokemon having minus 30 resistance now. Um, same thing with the weakness changes. Different types are being weak to different different types uh water type pokemon now weak to lightning instead of grass psychic type pokemon weak to darkness instead of psychic darkness type pokemon a weakness to grass instead of fighting once again i don't think this really changes anything at all it's just now that uh they're going to balance the game around these weaknesses instead of the previous weaknesses and hopefully that's what they do and then uh we'll have a uh, the game doesn't like the resistance of weakness changes don't really change anything as long as the you know the balance team and the creators of the cards balance the game based around the new changes um type arrangement we are losing fairy type pokemon from the tcg we will no longer have fairy type pokemon now i think this is a good thing now i don't think it's a ridiculously good thing to remove fairy type pokemon i don't care which type of pokemon they removed however i think working with less types of pokemon in the tcg overall will lead to a more balanced game for the types that we have left i would have actually liked to have seen them even gone down to less types like maybe even seven um, and then when they're working with less types they can work they can put more cards into each individual type more uh more just more powerful cards into each type making all the other types more powerful um, instead of trying to spread out all the cards in a set over nine different types you know some types are just not going to be relevant and we've seen that definitely in recent years where types of pokemon like types of pokemon in in, in an entirety just don't see play like I can't even remember the last time we saw a good a really good fighting type deck in standard it's been a while I mean we had Buzzrock obviously but since Buzzrock since Buzzrock there's just been no good fighting type decks for a, for a long time now um and part of that is that there is so many types in Pokemon and they're putting they're giving us cards for every type in every set so those are cards that could be put into other types and making you know more balanced types overall and making making it so we have a more interesting i think and balanced game in pokemon so i'm a big fan of this change that they're making by removing a type and i would actually like to hopefully in the future maybe they bring fairy type back and they remove water and metal type or water and steel type whatever um, take those out of the game um, something like that um, so i hope they don't remove fairy type forever but for right now if they if this is the type they want to pick to get rid of for currently that's fine with me i think this is a great change and will lead to a more fun fair and balanced game of pokemon tcg uh card errata, so there's only two cards i want to talk about here which is the energy energy retrieval and the pal pad um at old energy retrieval would say that if there is two basic energy in our discard pile we would have to take those two basic energy when we play energy retrieval new energy retrieval 
is worded in a way, put up to two basic energy cards from our discard pile into our hand, that if there is two basic energy in our discard pile, we can choose to just take one. Now, I like these kind of flexibility um, changes to cards because it allows for players to make more creative and advanced plays where it's like all of a sudden you know you play an energy retrieval and you're like oh you know what i only want one energy because it allows me to do this but if i take two uh it limits my plays for whatever reason um you know they won't come up that frequently that often two energy is usually better than one but it, having the flexibility of it does allow for those those more creative high level plays uh to to happen and that's that's what i want to see personally in the in the pokemon tcg so i'm super happy about this change it's super cool change Love the flexibility addition to the energy retrieval. Also added to the pal pad. Shuffle up to two supporter cards from your disc pile into your deck. So if we have a Guzma and a uh, Lysander, and we're like, we want the Guzma, but I don't want it. I don't want Lysander. If I ever draw into Lysander, it's just a dead card. I'm just gonna put the Guzma in my deck. That's all I want. Put that in. Once again, the flexibility added to the pal pad. Love it. Um, and these cards are the cards that are not ridiculously powerful. If we compare them to something like a, a fire crystal, fire crystal, an insanely powerful card, three fire energy out of our discard pile. That kind of card, I don't think, should have the flexibility that these kind of cards have. Um, these cards are not quite as powerful um, in their their max capabilities, their max the maximum that they can do. Um, so they shouldn't have, like, Fire Crystal shouldn't all, should not be as powerful as it is for its maximum capabilities of taking three fire out of the discard pile and then also have the flexibility of choosing to take one or two fire energy out of the discard pile. But Energy Retrieval, Palpad, not quite as powerful of cards. I like that they've had the added flexibility. Um, one thing that I'm going to touch on that I find kind of weird is that they're allowing us to use old Quick Balls from uh, Diamond and Pearl, uh, Majestic Dawn, apparently Diamond and Pearl, Mysterious Treasures, um... The one that used to say, reveal a card, reveal the top card of your deck until you hit a Pokemon and then put that Pokemon in your hand. We're going to be able to use those as proc or not proxies, but they'll they'll act as new quick as what the new quick ball does. So it's interesting that they did this because it seemed like in recent years they've been trying to avoid us being able to use old cards. But all of a sudden, for some reason, they're like, you know what? Old quick balls, you can use those. So this one just kind of confuses me. I'm not sure why they're allowing us to do this. It doesn't really matter overall, but it just seemed like in recent years they've been trying to avoid uh, avoiding letting us use older cards like as as newer cards basically so i'm just kind of confused by this one this this uh errata they're making on quick ball um professor's research um we're gonna have another uh junimore juniper sycamore reprint in professor magnolia coming out and it looks like they're just preparing us letting us know it's not going to be called professor juniper it's not going to be called professor sycamore the card is now called professor's research and it seems like they just because we with reprinting this card discard your hand draw seven cards um they just want to make it easier to understand that you can only play one of these cards but they plan to probably reprint it in the future and it currently exists in expanded and now once again it doesn't exist in a, it will exist in standard with the release of sword and shield with professor magnolia so they're just kind of preparing us for the potential reprint of it and letting us know that we can only play one of these kinds of cards in our deck we cannot play four sycamore four juniper and four, four professor magnolia we can play four magnolia magnolia or four juniper or four sycamore we cannot play 12 discard your hand draw seven cards in our deck not that you'd ever want to you just can't though you get to pick one of them pick your favorite whatever pokemon checkup this is a <laughs> it's a funny term in my opinion um they're basically removing the phrase between turns which is whatever. Um, I like that they're adding this um, order order of operations in the in-between turns phase. I'm still going to call it in-between turns because that's what it is. I'm not going to say in the checkup phase. In the in-between turns phase, um, they've added a order in which you check your special conditions, poison, burned, asleep, paralyzed, um, and then abilities and trainer effects um, checkup. And those you can do apparently in any order, but you cannot um mix them with conditions you can't check for poisoned and then check for an ability or a trainer effect and then check for burned and then check for another ability and then check for asleep and then check for another trainer effect and then paralyze you got to go either check all the conditions or check the abilities and effects of trainers and then check the special conditions you can't mix them up you have to do the special conditions in the order that this is shown poison burned asleep paralyze um, you can still mix up how you change you uh check for the effects of abilities and trainers I can't think of any of interactions off the top of my head, but I know there are some interactions where checking these in a specific order does allow for certain effects to take place um, that you can gain an advantage from checking them in a spe specific order. Um, yeah, 
so yeah, for example, you can't check poison damage, then apply an ability, then check back if you have if your Pokemon is still asleep. So yeah, and then check to see if any Pokemon are knocked out at the end of all that. Uh, recover, just they're replacing the term recover with heal, I think. Um, remove three damage challenge from one of your Pokemon. It would have said, all right, so heal, recover, I think is they're using that for, you know, recover. Um, and recovers, yeah, recovers like to remove special conditions. So when you see the the term recover it means removing special conditions reminder text removal um that's not important the regulation uh marks this is just something really cool that they're just doing um they're gonna be putting this little in the in the sword and shield set the first sword and shield set and then probably for the next couple sets there'll be this letter d in the bottom left of the card basically just letting us know and i assume what this is going to lead to is you know for the next four sets there'll be a d and then the next the four sets after that there'll be like a y and then the four sets after that there'll be a z and the four sets after that there'll be a x and then they'll basically be like okay these letters are legal in current standard so they're going to rotate d out and then x y z um are legal um and then so on from there um so it's a cool little like quality of life change here adding this to the bottom left of the pokemon cards just putting a letter there glad they're doing it it's not really that big of an impact overall i mean i'd be able to figure out which cards are legal and standard and expanded but for newer players and especially yeah especially just newer players having this there is definitely going to be a great asset to them so they can understand you know um you know what's legal and standard what is currently legal and standard and what cards are in expanded so yeah glad they're doing this overall you know just a nice uh, a nice change overall and that's it that's all the changes um, that is coming with Sword and Shield to the Pokemon TCG. Those are my opinions on them. If you think I guys, if you guys think I missed anything and want to get my opinion or want me to uh, expand my thoughts on something, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like if you enjoyed the content. Be sure to subscribe. These these changes take effect on February 21st when the set becomes legal for play. And that's it. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.